Hi guys, welcome to the channel today, Simon here, beautiful sunny day in the UK again, still a bit cold though, you lucky people over there in Thailand. So today, what are we going to talk about? Soapy massages. I have to say, I almost got in the doghouse with my wife for this one. She started watching the videos and I said to her I was going to do a soapy massage today video and she said what's that and she didn't have a clue what it was so oh I started to try and explain but I thought I'm not going to say too much what is a soapy massage so they're all over Thailand they're probably all over the world a soapy massage very hard to spot some of them because they're sort of hidden away but then there is the opposite ones which are grand big buildings with the Roman columns outside it is a massage parlor with a slight difference uh, for you seasoned guys you know all about them I got to know about them because um, my the Thai boss I had at the beer bar had a soapy massage so I was in her soap massage quite a bit, business meetings and just drinking coffee and chatting to the girls. So I got to see the ins and outs quite a bit. Depending on where you are in Thailand, there's there's different ones. There's there are some that are just for Thai customers. There's uh, I believe Lady Boy soap massages, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you guys comments below if you know of them. And I believe there's ones with guys in. So again, if you can comment below if any of you know, if any girls are looking for a male soapy massage, I believe they're there somewhere, don't know where. My first experience of one was in Patea on Second Road, beautiful grand building, didn't know what it was and a friend said, come on, take you here. So you go, if you, if you want to find one and you're not sure where they are, the best thing, ask any taxi driver in Thailand, any motorcycle taxi rider, any tuk-tuk ride driver, they will take you to many, many. They happily take you around so you can run inside, have a look, and come out, go to a different one if you want. They get a bit of a kickback from the soapy massage owners for taking customers there. Once you enter a soapy massage building, what are you uh, presented with? Well, it'll be a really nice bar area um, with very well-dressed staff, usually guys, and there'll be a seating area for you to sit down. So you'll be taken to the seating area, sat down and asked what drink you want. Now the drinks are more expensive than in typical beer bars and go-go bars. From my memory, they used to be 100, 120 baht for a drink, so they're a little bit more more money and in front of you you will see a rather large usually glass I presume viewing window and behind the window will be sort of a bench system with maybe 10 20 30 girls sat in tiers like when you're watching a, a concert or in the cinema so the girls are in there on these type of seats and they will have a number on their body somewhere on the wrist, on their shoulder, lapel. And they're behind the glass. And that's where the expression goldfish bowl comes from because they're as if they're in a goldfish bowl, in an aquarium. You're looking through the glass window at them. So you're in this lovely palatial building. You're sat down with your beer. In front of you is the glass and usually quite a few girls. And soapy massage girls do tend to be very attractive very attractive you do also find some of the girls who work in the go-go bars will work in the massage soapy massage in the daytime and then go on to the go-go's at night mm. and you'll also find that the soapy massage girls will become freelancers at night mm, there you go so you presented window 20 30 girls in front of you all with a number on and the service guy will be floating around somewhere near you watching your reactions the girls behind the glass will give you what I call the Robbie Williams experience because you're maybe the only person customer in there and every one of those girls wants your attention 
I mean, they're not stood up screaming and shouting at you, but they're all have eye contact on you. They will all be gesture, gest, gesturing, gest. They'll all be signalling you in one way or another with facial expressions, hand signals, whatever. But they will all be trying to get your attention and try and get you to pick their number. It's a great experience. Even if you leave the bar at this point, you are no under no obligation, once you've sat down and had a beer, to pick a girl for a massage. You can say, thanks, pay your beer, uh, your, your bin for your beer, and leave. But then all the girls will be giving you different gestures if you do. Um, so yeah, so you sit there, have your beer, you decide on one girl, or two, or more, that's up to you, how deep your pocket is, what you want. So you find a girl, you look at a girl, you think, I like that girl's lovely number, whatever. And then you signal the service guy over and tell him the number of the girl that you would like to um, have a massage with. Usually he'll, by magic, will pull out a microphone from his back pocket, flick a button, shake the number, the, sister, the speaker system in there, that girl will get up and exit the goldfish bowl and come round to you. Now, quite often the girl will say, buy me a drink, and the service guy will say, do you want to get the girl a drink? Again, you're under no obligation to get them a drink. You can just say, no, I just go for the massage. If you do get them a drink, it's going to be a lady drink and they're going to get a kickback off it and it's going to be expensive as well. So, no drink. Okay, let's go for the massage. You will then be taken across to a cashier where you will pay a fixed price. And it is a fixed price. When you first go into the massage, ask the service guy, what's the price? They will tell you. Um, you might have a couple of options because some of the massage rooms have um, slightly different decor. Maybe they've got a huge jacuzzi. Yeah, might be slightly different in there. So, you go across to the cashier, you pay your price. Back in my era, 15 years ago, it was average of 1,500 baht. Plus you pay them for your drink as well. So, you go to the cashier, you'll be charged for your drink you've just had, and if you've bought a lady's drink at the same time, and the, let's say, 1,500 baht. At that point, the girl will take your hand and lead you off to a special massage room. And again, the service guy will say, do you want any drinks? Oh, he's down flies. Do you want any drinks? While well, you're in there, up to you. If you don't, you know, you don't know, you're not obligated. There's also a phone in there if you decide during your massage you want some drinks, you can pick the phone up and order some drinks. The room itself usually will consist of a double bed then a open plan shower area with a, a a large floor probably three four meters square floor tiled floor with a large shower head and to one side there will be a bath or jacuzzi um, in that wet area Mm. So, you at this point will uh, undress, the girl will also undress, um, removing all clothing, and you will take a shower, and then you would lie down on the massage device. Now this device how can I describe it? You seasoned guys know exactly what's coming up. It's a lilo. It's a inflatable, usually. <laughs> I've only ever seen an inflatable kiddies lilo that you see in the swimming pools. And you would lie on that. And the girl would generate a lot of soap and suds from the shower and liquids and things. And would then go about giving you a massage remembering you're both undressed totally and she'll use every part of her anatomy to massage you. Um, 
I don't want to spoil things too much if you are in, you know, you're looking forward to that and you want to try that, these sort of things. So you would then move on to the bath together probably and have a bath and then you would move on to the bed where you will get um, uh, horizontal aerobics will take place. Read between the lines and after you finished you would then maybe quick shower dress both leave the room and you've already paid and girl might ask you for a tip again you're not you don't have to give a tip um, and you leave the building and that's it guys do tend to leave the building quicker than they go in <laughs> horizontal aerobics I don't like saying the three letter word beginning with S and ending in X but you get what I mean experience before I was married I experienced this and I would recommend to anybody whatever gender you are whatever your sexuality is whatever you're into I would recommend maybe the first time you go to Thailand if you are new to Thailand and you do want to try out some horizontal aerobics and acrobatics go straight to a soapy massage try it out because it is an experience you'll never forget um, some of my friends that's all they do uh, I have limited experience very very limited experience with that so um, but my friends they love it so there you go tips and tricks from my knowledge from my old boss there isn't really many because it is a fixed price you can get the girl's phone number at the end if you wanted to see her outside of the massage that's not a problem you're not paying any bar fines you're not paying any short time room prices so it can work out actually cheaper than some of the other ways and things you're looking for and doing really good good experience so there you go pretty straightforward it is a massage with a shower, a jacuzzi, horizontal aerobics, all for a fixed price. And one thing worth mentioning, a lot of people keep talking about and asking about STDs, etc. Not sure about this day and age, but back in my day, my boss, they were, she was as strict as she could be with uh, checkups and things for the girls. Her girls were, um, it was beneficial they did get regular checkups as much as you can because like any country you can buy they could have bought the little uh, receipts from the doctors and things like that but pretty pretty good I'd have thought in this open massage uh, girls for checkups and things there we are I just want to do a couple of uh, little shout outs here because quite a few of you are asking me what video uh, vlogs or vloggers do do I actually watch one of my favorite ones at the moment one guy uh, is in Australia at the moment and he's moving to Phuket in a few weeks AJ Phuket is his channel name uh, he swears a lot so watch out for those <laughs> yeah, good looking guy he looks he, he, he looks just like I used to when I was his age so I think he's a bit of a surfer as well maybe even skateboards but he's just about to make the move to Thailand he has stayed there before but he's just about to make the move so it's going to be interesting to watch him make that move and the transition and find an accommodation etc so anyone looking at going to Thailand moving I've put a link below AJ Phuket go and have a look at his channel and watch him on that move uh, I think it'd be very interesting and my favorite vlogger at the moment um, well, I've got two because I'm getting quite friendly with Andy Wright of his channel. Uh, so I like watching Andy's videos. But uh, Gordon Tickle has to be my favourite at the moment. He is up in the north of Thailand and he's doing lots of building work at the moment. And he's building a new big cow shed and a dam. and He's doing all sorts. Um, love watching his videos. I'll put a link below. So that's Gordon Tickle. Find it down there. Really interesting. And close to him is Graham Breyer, who I'm watching pretty much every day. I've never spoke to Graham. I've done many comments on his channel, but Graham and uh, Pi, 
and Pham, their son, living up on a farm in uh, Chang Sen, I think it is, near Chiang Mai, somewhere up that way. But love, love watching his videos as well. So those are my ones at the moment. Um, of course, I watch the, the big boys like Kevin Thailand and uh, Jeff Carter is another one of my favourites, but he's not there at the moment. Um, and Warren and uh, Chanya up in Chiang Mai. That's another channel. But yeah, Gordon Tickle and AJ Fouquet. Have a look at those if you get a chance. Really good vloggers. And uh, that's it for this one. I'm just about to start doing some very, very basic videos for the new guys that keep asking me. Really basic stuff. So very short videos there will be. And very basic information. I'll try and distinguish on the thumbnails so you guys that uh, have been around the block don't have to watch them. Bye for now. I will see you in the next video.